Today on Low Carb with Jennifer, I'm going to show you how to make this keto fried chicken. Hey guys, welcome back to Low Carb with Jennifer. Let's get started on this fried chicken. It is easy. Don't be intimidated by making fried chicken. I'm going to tell you right now, it is so good. You are not going to believe how good this is. So to get started, I've got my tray of chicken. I'm using chicken tenderloins. I'll tell you why in a little bit. I've got one and a half cups of almond flour. Yes, we're gonna dredge these with almond flour. It is delicious. And I've got a shallow bowl here with two eggs. I've also got my pot here getting hot with about a, a half inch to one inch of oil in it. I'm using avocado oil. So we're gonna let this come up to 350 degrees. I've got my meat thermometer here and that's gonna help me measure the temperature of my oil and also the internal temperature of my chicken. It's gonna let me know when it's finished. So why are we using avocado oil? That's because you don't wanna use like vegetable oils, cottonseed oil, canola oil, seed oils, those are bad, really, really bad for your health. Avocado oil doesn't oxidize at high heat, higher heats, so it's so much better um, than the industrial seed oils. Why are we using chicken tenderloins? You could use chicken breasts, but you'd want to cut them to about the size of a, of a tenderloin. I found that by the time the internal temperature of the chicken was cooked, if it was thicker, then the outside was getting too brown. So we want to have a nice golden brown exterior on our crust, and, while we, and we don't want our chicken to be raw on the inside, so you want to have a smaller piece of chicken. Okay, let's start making our breading station. So I've got one and a half cups of almond flour here. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of garlic powder, two teaspoons of kosher salt, a teaspoon of mustard powder, a half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, and a teaspoon of dried thyme. So we're gonna mix all of these together carefully without spilling it. Okay, now we're going to crack two eggs in this shallow dish. Come back your egg. With two tablespoons of water. Beat these together. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bread each bread, each chicken tender in the almond flour, then the egg, then back in the almond flour, and then I've got a sheet tray here waiting to put them on. So we're doing all of that while our oil is getting hot. So let's do it. We've got almond flour. Egg. Back in the almond flour. This is gonna give us a nice coating. You wanna make sure and get it nicely coated in the almond flour. And so now it's ready, we can set it aside. Okay, we're gonna do that with the rest of the chicken tenders. Okay, we've been heating our oil at about medium, medium high heat, and it is at 350 degrees. I tested it with my thermometer. And we've got our chicken all ready to go. You can see it all nicely breaded. So let's start frying it up. I'm gonna put about four of these in the pan. You don't wanna crowd the pan. That's the sizzle. So we're gonna let them cook and then we're gonna flip them in a few minutes so the other side can cook. Okay, these are getting brown, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip them over. Ooh, they look so perfect. And these are gonna be ready in just probably two more minutes. Okay, I tested these with my meat thermometer and they're all ready, so I'm gonna pull them out and put them on this paper towel lined tray. They look amazing. OK, 
Okay, let's cook some more, four more. Okay, we've got them all ready, and look at these, oh my gosh, look at these crispy, amazing pieces of chicken. These are perfect. So I'm gonna try a bite of one that's not scalding hot and going to burn my mouth. So let's cut into one of these juicy pieces of chicken here. This one right here looks good. And I can show you how juicy they are. Let's just look at this piece right here. Yum. These are so good. Mm. Crunchy and perfectly seasoned. Mm, 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 mm. And it, you know, this seemed like it was a long process, but from start to finish, this took 30 minutes. So it's really not that big of a deal to have your own keto fried chicken any night of the week. Serve it with my cauliflower, my loaded cauliflower casserole for a complete dinner. It will be outstanding. Your kids are going to love it. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.